Hi, I'm Kaylee Smith and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Luca and I'm a junior. This week we kicked off by starting the second and seven program to promote literacy. It was really nice to go read to the second graders and hopefully become a role model for them. This week, Dr. Edinger's Biology One students conducted a lizard lab simulation to better understand homeostasis, their objective was to warm up the lizard in order to earn lizard rewards. This lab explains the recent news reports about lizards falling from trees. Meanwhile, students in sports medicine practiced their CPR and AED skills this week. Students just completed an online CPR course through the American Heart Association. They learned how to do CPR on adults, children, and infants. They also learned how to treat someone that is choking. Multimedia production students are working on stop motion animation films. Students had to storyboard their ideas first and are now working on taking all their photos. They will enter these animations in West Liberty University's Mad Fest next week. Our fifth graders have been applying their scientific inquiry skills to change in an object's motion based on its force and mass using Lego Brick Prime. Keeping up with the Olympic theme, they built a downhill slope and raced skiers and bobsledders. They will move on to LEGO Robotics this next grading period. The fifth graders have also been working with Ohio County Sheriff Dare Officer Andrew Weisel. This week, they discussed a variety of scenarios and having to make good decisions. Our middle school students have also been busy this week wrapping up their grade level STEAM projects. Sixth graders are designing, engineering, and building models of sustainable houses. As part of this project, students had to research features of sustainable homes and also had to learn how to design and draw a house to scale on graphing paper using their math skills. The students then had to use what they have learned about sustainable energy sources to create 3D models of sustainable homes from their designs using environmentally friendly features such as wind and solar energy. Our seventh graders have been working hard on designing and engineering their own roller coasters. This week, they finally had an opportunity to test their roller coasters by using a marble to see how quickly it would travel through their designs. The third quarter project in STEAM block for eighth graders is a cafeteria redesign. Students have been following the steps in the design process to adjust the question of how can we redesign the Lindsley cafeteria to better benefit students, faculty, and staff. Students have worked in a collaborative teams to define the problems, collect data, brainstorm ideas, and research and develop solutions. Each group presented their designs to Mr. Zimmerman and Mr. Dodd with the goal of imp implementing some of the best ideas next school year. Our upper schoolers ended the week with a guest speaker, Ron Scott. Mr. Scott is the program director for the YWCA of Wheeling Cultural Diversity and Community Outreach. His message focused on accepting others and trying to learn more to grow from any assumptions about race. He also applauded Lindsley for the opportunity to actually get to know so many other cultures so that we are better global citizens. One of his takeaways is to be the person living in knowledge and experience. In community service news, the Lindsley chapter of the 2nd and 7th Foundation was initiated and organized by Lindsley senior Kaylee Smith. On Thursday, Kaylee and six other students visited our neighbors at Wheeling Country Day School and read the first series of the Hog Molly's books to them. These books teach life lessons including kindness, teamwork, and much more. The students also discussed the story with them and asked questions. Our students intend to continue to visit and read with second graders at WCDS during the spring quarter and for years to come. In athletic news, we are wrapping up a very successful winter sports season. This week, our boys basketball team honored their seniors during senior night with a 72-53 win over Cameron. Congratulations to George, Brooke, Seamus, Rafe, Caleb, and Juan. The boys team in, is in Rock Hills, South Carolina to compete in Big Shots Prep Nationals. Our swim team is competing in the Eastern Interscholastic Swimming Championships at Franklin and Marshall. The girls medley relay team made up of Liv, Alejandra, Anna, and Madalena have already broken a Lindsley School record. The new record is 1 minute 53.55 seconds and the girls have hopes to swim even faster in the finals tonight. Our hockey team will have their final two games of the season at home this weekend, both versus Newark on Saturday at 510 and Sunday morning. Come out and support our seniors one last time. 
Finally, we continued one of our favorite winter sports traditions, the faculty versus senior basketball game last Friday night. Congratulations to the seniors who beat the faculty by a small margin and maybe a controversial call or two by the junior class refs. And that's what's happening in this week's Cadet Minute.